I'm watching as the National Guard shot gets set And drew prophecy of soldiers with bayonets Martial law coming, all you blind it's bigger than curfews The statements and they living off your virtues Vampiric, touching your hair, you calling them rude Blacks are dead caucuses, they see energy food Why you riot and run among us Moors look and cuss blacks out, Morris and Caracas You incompetent, not descendable, playing a fool Or maybe not playing, cause I don't get what you're saying You burn your own community down to the ground But won't light up a precinct, you coward ass clowns Give it cause black eyes and windows busted lips And the unity of CIA funded blood the Crips can Be a step in the direction of King Alfred's plan If you wanna really be free, kill that straw man let it burn, burn, baby burn, but maybe they will learn, learn, maybe learn, learn, let it burn, burn, baby burn, maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn, let it burn, burn, baby burn, maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn, let it burn, burn, baby burn, maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn, to fight an age, they use weapons of sound, so your we shall overcome chance, all get drowned, weapons spraying bystanders, the new water hose, most rioters are under cover pros in black clothes throwing the first projectile to start the riot infection disappear in the crowd get me for insurrection enemy combatant status is prison of war blacks accept the slave status when they're from these shores the slave ships are your projects and prisons you love dearly where your children get killed in yearly you better hear me handcuffs all the new news hands when trade sheets for badges and new suits you damage you loot Thinking that's petty crime, marching for rights and revolving door prison pipelines. Either you wake up now or continue to suffer. Live under the thumb and watch for I a big brother. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. You already had the solution if you would only listen. The new order is standing on an older system. All that matters is you think before you feel and recognize nobody talks in front of the pyramid seal. And upside down the shadow becomes a seven. Stop acting like Rosie. Life is not the Jetsons. In reality, life is more like having X-Men gifts. Dimension shift when you recite hieroglyphs. Open your chakras, kundalini energy shifts. Higher yourself out the lower just Start feeling the slip. Start getting your mind forward, not keeping your mind black. Watch where you walk. I've seen people swallowed by cracks. Stop talking, kill crackers. Posing with gas to truth. It's time to plug in like a phone jack. Finally make the connection, make the correction. Blacks are abuse for statelessness, not your complexion. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Let it burn, burn, baby burn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. Maybe they would learn, learn, maybe learn. in Islam. We study the ancient manuscripts, Moorish Quran. Everything we do is Allah, some haram. No, it sounds like the hook, but this is the song. When I see your brother, I greet him with salam. Want the whole truth about Hitler and Saddam. Devastated what you did in Vietnam. Had a disadvantage, so they had to use bombs. It's been a few years, I read my Proverbs and Psalms. When I see my sisters, I tell them, sit calm. It's your destiny, you hold it in your palm. It's the popularity, never cared about the prom. One of life's great mysteries, young Vietnam. I am that I am, that's word to my mom. Move out the rough edges, eliminate arms. Know what you're pledging, no one to come. Coming for a territory, take it back. Quam with that old time, good spell, I wave my magic wand. Now I'm impressed, the vibration sound is on. Can you count how many 
come to try and break you. Uh, try to got a great clue. Struggle size eight you. Mind of my own with a great you. My simple little great goose was foreign on the state. You for plotting my escape of day rules, day schools, day jewels. They couldn't help my shine like chemicals. I'm at the top of my class on the pedestal. I throw that letter to that's HB number two. And keep my name out your mouth unless it's about to spread my you. Quarter to come up with the money that you run up when this crow game hung up in my young guard aim and shoot with your lame excuse no i never dead this a full force sound system level that yo you only talking fee out where your level's at this is god body show me where the devil at i'll let you read what this life about we the lawmakers architects and still they doubt we keep it factual with math and science practical they love to hate the natural pain with the game no clout a little fame couldn't stray i remain on route i move mountains earthquakes on speakers something off the count in these occurrences they speechless for the world i'm the teacher I'm sure like the beaches, keeping everything du jour I'm the one with the features that they envy We the reason that they seek us to take us out every season So, uh, more stones give it away Uh, yo, more stones give it away Every time that I accelerate, they copy on the master tape Our mothers and the fathers great, give me the stick Drink the masterpiece, the masses trying to masterpiece This time I'm like the masterpiece, this law gon' get me the break Uh, yo, more stones give it away Uh, yo, more stones give it away Outstanding key for the sheet is your I thought Orisha Omega dated she a more Amongst the elite both relate to the poor She command the fleet first to step on the shore Snooze never sleep, won't hear me snore Hey yo, claim me once you'll never snake me twice Break this smoke and never save my life Never rolling with that piece, so respect my life Respect my life, yo Uh, more don't give it away Uh, yo, more don't give it away Every time that I accelerate the copy, I'm the master tape. Our mothers and the fathers great, give me the stick. Drink the masterpiece, the masses trying to masterpiece. This time I'm like the masterpiece. This law gon' get me the grip. Uh, yo, more don't give it away. Uh, yo, more don't give it away. Respect my life, respect my life, respect my life, respect my life, respect my life. <laughs>
case, cemetery, February the fourth day, six, son of Mary, day ahead of my born day, independence and law, may seven little of a lost case, with case laws, we break them down like Jericho, keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho, I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio, take pandemics announced over the radio, annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains, I'm Rob Face, mixing with rock the hard way, I was in a lost state, poppin' stood me up right, brought me to a lost gate, cooking like I'm soft bait, rapping like I'm Denzel, Malcolm X, Deja Vu, Roman J, Israel, had no before I lay in plain sight, but people still can't see it, so the snake's still showing up, the snake's still high, so the race still going up, warriors of the North Gate, we not slowing up, born in the manger, sworn to be savior, walk through the valley of the shadows of the death, if it's slavery, looking for life, the book of Genesis, astro plane entrances, invoke the nemesis, abstract images of past life's kicking in, danger, running for your life, you're finishing, Morris Lamar, key man or oracle, using trinity powers, decipher allegorical, lost in metaphorical, holy books are metaphysic, facts like a dirty more or a Drew Ali critic, calling him Thomas or Walter and get your face caved, or cut like a close shave, drowned in my brain waves, squash my heat waves, activating kundalini, Abyssinia invaded by Mussolini, Selassie I am exiled, reptile in genesis, niggas appearing real, all I see is false evidence, DA are feminists, stomped on by elephants, more like more prejudice, but want moreish benefits, when you feel the cold magnetic resonance, apis horns of the sacred book are maleficent, great cosmic mothers, return to blissedness, no pestilence, ace all the testaments, tap into remembrance, never to forget again, use energy right, not put spell effects on men, wandering the earth plane with no they live shades, keeps you a mental slave, as the horizon fades, it's been decades, since Christian crusades, not enough rebellions, too many vigil bouquets, holding on to the fence, burning on doomsday, war ruled by Mars, it might be on a Tuesday. Canaan Land Moors presents, comic, comic, and then quick, quick. What we do here is we add some common sense thinking to everyday situations or comments that may arise. Want to give it a try? Give it a try? Give it a try? Peace, Moors. We're out here. We're out here. We're out here. Just remember, tomorrow, where's the thing? You get the plug going on. Tomorrow, we're out here. It's going to be a great build. Happy Holy Day to all the Moors worldwide just want to go back to the foundation once again everybody wants to play they don't know who the more avengers are and all that they don't know who the more avengers are so let's go to some more avengers right now rvbaypublications.com been told you but you know some people it's the book the boat left the dock. So let's just let's just scroll down and take in some of this. The fez is worn as a symbol of the womb. The fez is worn as a symbol of of the womb. The top of it has a nipple shape that symbolizes the navel. The strands of the tassel are 360 degrees, as in 360 degrees of knowledge. The tassel is not pinned down as it is in the secret societies. Properly, the free-flowing tassel is indicative of one who is born of the womb, endowed with and aspiring to be and beyond 360 degrees of knowledge. They navigate upon the earth and their potential is not limited, not pinned down or kept secret. However, it is sacred. The four sets of air holes are equal to the number of women, nine, and add to 13 and the number of times a woman cycle per year. 
which is in tune with the cycles of the moon. And then there's also 12, which is your, the entire zodiac for you too. The following is an explanation found in Lesson Book 1, written by Taj Tariq Bey of, Mo of the Moors Order of the Round Table. Fez, the national headdress of the Asiatic Moorish nation of North, South, and Central Americas, including the adjoining islands. The national headdress of the Asiatic Moorish nation of North, South, Central Americas, including the islands. The, is the Asiatic Moorish nation of North, South, and Central America and the adjoining islands only men or something like that? Or, or is, is women in there as well? If the Asiatic Moorish nation is only men, then I can see why the Fez should only be worn by men. But I don't think that the Asiatic Moorish nation of North, South, and Central Americas, including the adjoining islands, is a nation of men. I don't think so. I think the, I think the, the woman of that nation would take that highly offensive. And if, and if they're not, they should take it highly offensive. The fez is typically of red felt, with an indigo black tassel. The fez is the headdress of the ancient ones. The Moabite Moors, also spelled M-U-U-R, is a geometrically formed to represent the eternal zodiac. The body at the fez symbolizes the womb of the cosmos and the womb of woman, mother. The one-inch finial which extends out of the center of the fez, is the number one and the ninth letter in the phonetic Moorish alphabet, I. This also symbolizes the navel, I. The cord extending from the I symbolizes the universal umbilical cord of universal life and represents the oneness of all life. It also represents to tie to the source of humanity, humanity, Zodiacus, the first woman. The circular round ball of the tassel represents the mundane circle or earth, which is called mother, right? Isn't, isn't earth called mother or is earth, earth masculine? The cord wrapped about the tassel strands hold the form of the circle representing the unity of life through the zodiac constitution of humanity. It also represents the cyclical and reciprocal nature of life. The strands of the tassel represent the 360 degrees of the zodiac, the highest law, a rid authority in civilization. The zodiac crown of light, the national headdress, of the mothers and fathers of the human founders of civilization and masters of the cosmos, science, third, 33rd, and 360 degree master masons and eastern stars. This is a part of the hidden truth which has been buried in the dark corner of the North Gate. The Fez, the symbol of the eternal zodiac, is also called a tarbush, a tiara, a corona soul, and other names, which describe its royal status. The wearing of the fez regarding masons of clandestine orders. Fez is also the name of the old Moorish Capitolium and city, which is located in northeast Morocco. Morocco. Moroccan and Moors are one and the same pedigree and peoples. American is a dialectical corruption of the name Al-Moroccan, which means descendants of Moroccan. The lack of consciousness of law and history on the part of any so-called Negro Black Mason concerning the ancient history of the Americas has stagnated or retarded 
their ability to see through the veil of their own hoodwinking. Is Fez the city in Europe? Is the Fez the national headdress of Europeans? Or is the Fez the national headdress of Moors? Who is wearing a Fez only by ritual? And who should be wearing the Fez by right of natural dress and culture? Who is who in the great controversy of who is worthy to wear the Fez and who is not? Who is honoring their ancient mothers and fathers and who is not? Who is denying connection to Ruth the Moabitess and who is not by way of recognizing or not recognizing the origins of the great philosophies and wisdom found in the halls of learning called masonry? Masonry is a system of disciplined learning. More is the pedigree and nationality of the direct descendants of the founders of civilization and the ancient high science, culture, Gnosticism, cosmology, alchemy, geometry, algebra, numerology, astrology, architecture, mathematics, and philosophies, etc., from which masonry draws its wealth of knowledge, etc. Thus, masonry is the high culture, esoteric, and Gnostic system of learning Moorish history, science, and culture, culture, literally and factually which was forced underground and veiled in allegorical stories, mysticism, signs, and symbols, etc. The word clandestine is an adjective meaning secret, concealed, sly, underhanded, serepitous, accomplished by improper means or by stealth, as in clandestine plan or act, seeking a benefit with fair, just, and proper compensation, participation, or input. ETC. Synonyms of the word clandestine include hidden, furtive, covert, ETC. Clandestine is derived from the old Moabite Moorish Latin word clandestinus. Moore's Order of the Round Table, Son of a Widow, Taj Tariq Bey. Many have been mistaken to think that the Europeans who wear the fez in secret are the originators of the fez. They are aware of the meaning and purpose of the fez, as it is the crown worn by those of the Moorish nation, which represents the matriarch. The fez is the crown worn by those of the Moorish nation. Is the Moorish nation just men or something? I really don't think the Moorish nation is just men. And if the Moorish nation is just men, Moorish women should be offended. Moorish, should be, Moorish women should be offended for a Moor to tell them they can't wear their fez. Because Noble Drew Ali said, Nobu Ali said, where? So, where's the Moors with their sombreros then? Any Moors out there? Know your sombrero? Nobu Ali wore a sombrero. How come Moors don't wear a sombrero everywhere? How come you don't wear a sombrero to court? Nobu Ali wore one. That's the prophet. The prophet said, the prophet said that we have to. Well, okay, so where's your sombrero? Now I don't have mine. I'm violating the prophet. Because Nova Jwali said, when I go to the Pan American Conference, it's not the dumb stuff. I bet you more sisters have a sombrero than, than that's the church hat. I bet you more sisters have a sombrero than these Moors. Bet you. Just go ask their grandma. <laughs> Just go ask their grandma with the church hat. With the flower on it and all that stuff. You tell me that's not sombreros. Stop the dumb stuff. You say the women can't wear fezzes. How? And then, and then nothing. 
Like you said, nothing for all these women wearing fezzes. You're not writing them letters and telling them to take their fez off and all that. You're not doing that with them. But the people who it's, who it's their birthright to wear it. It's their birthright to wear it, telling them they can't. When the fez is a womb. Really? Fez is a womb. If the fez is a womb, how? How 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 do we how do we how do we get here? Right. The turban, the royal crown, excerpt from a truth about your hair, RV Bay Publications. Many think the wearing of the turban and the fez is a matter of culture and they may wear it as a matter of ritual without knowing the meaning of the purpose behind it. There is a deeper spiritual and universal meaning behind the turban and the fez. They are both national headdresses. Turbans worn properly is wrapped with a V-point in the center. This represents the pineal and forms the shape of the pyramid. When one is conscious, their pineal is no longer calcifying, it is open and active. The fez is worn as a symbol of the womb. The top of it has a nipple-like shape that symbolizes the navel. The strands of the tassel are 360 degrees, as in 360 degrees of knowledge. The tassel is not pinned down, as that's in the secret societies. Properly, one who is born of the womb, he or she begins to navigate upon the earth and is endowed with 360 degrees of knowledge, and that is not pinned down or kept secret, however it is sacred. The hair is the antenna, and when we take care of our naturally and not laced with chemicals and other substances that prevent its potency, one begins to vibrate higher and pick up fre frequencies much better. With the knowledge that the hair is the antenna which sits upon the crown, we can begin to appreciate what we place upon it. The head is our crown and the first thing to develop when we are in the womb. Anything we do to it or places upon it is an extension of and related to the crown and the crown chakra and affects our ability to vibrate and be in harmony with the energies amongst us. If we vibrate high as we once did, it may be necessary to tune out the clutter, just as one would tune in a radio to the best reception. The turban assists in that. It acts as a buffer. Wrapping the turban. The turban is worn correctly. When it crosses in the middle, just above the brow, many wear the turban to protect their antennas, hair. However, they don't necessarily wrap it with the cross above the brow. The reason it ought to be crossed is because, the, the, because it creates the triune symbol and accentuates the pineal. When you wrap a turban upon your head, it is a divine occurrence. Most women look royal and regal with a proper wrapped turban. The dimensions or measurements of the material ought to equal nine. Nine is the number of divine manifestation of the womb into the physical. This is why information regarding the womb is referred to as the science of the number nine. The knowledge of divine numbers is necessary to gain understanding of how your material ends up to equal nine. There is no number higher than the number nine. All numbers can be reduced to nine, something under nine. The dimensions. The length of the material is to be 108 inches or three yards. There are 36 inches in one yard times three, 108, nine. The width of the material is also nine. The wider the material, the higher the turban raises on your head. Depending on the material, it is not necessarily becoming to wear the typical store-bought flat turbans because they have no rise or height in them, which lessens your noble appearance. Of course, one would not want to overdo the height either as it can cause the turban to be heavy and feel burdensome. Some say it represents an inflated ego, much like the old saying, if the longer the train of the wedding dress, the larger the ego and vanity of the woman wearing it. Whether that is always true or not, there is a balance in everything. The width measurements would start at 18 inches, 27 inches, 36 inches, ETC, as long as it equals to 9. 
you will find that result in the height of the turban also depending on the type of material. The thicker material will wrap up larger. The thin material will not. Therefore, as an example, if you usually cut your material to 27 inches, you may want to cut it to 36 or wider if the material is thin. Best type of material and wrap methods. The absolute best type of material is one with a degree of stretch, but not too much. The stretch material hugs the head and the turban wraps better. Satin is probably the absolute worst material because it slips and slides and tends not to stay in place. A jersey knit type works great. A gauze with some stretch is good in the summer seasons. However, you can work with whatever works for you. Just remember to keep the divine numbers in your measurements. Some women wrap two materials on their heads to create color coordination. If you want the smooth one-piece wrap look, start with one side of the material being short and wrap it around your head at least once. Then wrap the other longer side around and around. Others may wrap with the folded edge down with equal length on each side of your head. Bring both pieces to make the center. V-cross first, then wrap one side, then wrap the other. While, this, while others wrap it towards the back and then create the V during the wrapping. As for color, you can wear any color you wish to really. However, white is purity and red is worn when dealing with lawful matters. But any color can be worn at any time, however you wish to wear them. I like matching the color with my outfits. Courtesy of rvbaypublications.com in association with Moore's Heritage and History School. Regarding the white fez, daughters of the American Re Resolution and other Eastern Star Orders, it has already been established that the fez represents the womb. <laughs> the four sets of breather holes count up, up to or spell out numerically the sacred number 9 plus 4, 13, the cycle of the moon and the cycle of the woman in harmony with the moon. The white of the fez represents the moon and the gold tassel, the sun and 360 degrees of knowledge aspired to upon the earth plane, this ball of mud. Ah. Some good lemonade out here. <laughs> ah. Thus, the white fez represents purity symbolic of the womb, the Moabite national flag, the matriarch, is white with a gold crescent and star. The crescent represents mother and child, the mother cradling a child. More specifically, the mother and son, as she can easily duplicate herself, but to transform a female egg into a male specimen is a miracle. Thus, she has created the miracle son, the prodigal son from her womb. So if the fez represents the womb, and then we came from the womb, then how is the fez ours and not hers? No, because Noble Drew Ali didn't say that. Okay, there's... Noble Drew, Drew Ali didn't say use a fridge either. So, like, what, what, do you, what are you talking about? So Noble Drew Ali said... So that means we're, we're not gonna... Let's use our common sense. Let's, let's be Moors. Let's not be Christians and Muslims, and Buddhists, and, and whoever else is playing around in some dogmatic stuff. 
Right? Stop it. Let's, let, let's get real. Let's be real. If the Moabite nation flag was white with a crescent and star on it, and the crescent and star represents mother and son, and the sun is a miracle. And the sun is a miracle. Then that's the divine blessing of all sons. You're a miracle. Because she's only supposed to duplicate herself. That's where we get our importance. Being a son. It's precious. Being a son. Keep duplicating yourself. You're going to have issues. Because what? Because the universe needs balance. Needs. It's unavoidable. There is going to be balance. doesn't matter what your opinion is. There's going to be balance. There's going to be women who say, F-O-H, I'm wearing my fez. I don't care what you people say. There's going to be those ones. And you ain't going to tell them anything, no matter what you say. So stop the BS. Don't worry about them wearing fezes. Worry about people causing confusion. Worry about getting your house in order. Worry about something worth worrying about. Because, like we said, where's all these Moors with their sombrero? If you're following Noble Drew Ali and all that stuff, then you're supposed to have a sombrero. If you're following Noble Drew Ali, and you're all up in his face trying to prove something. Then where's your sombrero at? And if you don't have a sombrero, you better go get one if you're saying you're following the prophet. Follow, follow prophet moors. You know, follow, follow like, like, like a mutt. Have no mind of your own, even though he told you use your five senses. You have your mind of your own. You're not gonna listen to that part where Drew Ali said, use your five senses though. If we went back to our ancient foremothers and forefathers, do you think you would see mothers wearing fezes or no? If we did like what Drew Ali said and went back. If we did what Drew Ali said and went back to our foremothers and forefathers mindset, would we see mothers wearing fezes back then? And if we would see that, then how dare these people talk crazy today? How dare they? Unless, the, unless these people are the patriarchs and their job is to push that patriarchy. And they're going to push that patriarchy. Guaranteed they're going to push their patriarchy. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Oh yeah, all those indigenous women with fezzes, they ain't saying nothing to them. Got no words for them. But the mothers, oh, here they, here they come. Here they come. The mothers, pff, mothers can't do anything. As soon as it's for the mothers, here, here they come.
But all these Europeans, Asians, whoever else, women could wear fezzes. And these people not saying a damn thing. Zip the lip. It's okay. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. To tell these mothers, yes, wear your fezzes. Don't be shy. Don't let them. Don't let them fear you with with the with the religious crap. Drew Ali's gonna get you if you wear a fez and all this BS. Drew Ali's gonna get you. That's where that's where Moors are, are trying to get the mothers not to wear their fez. They're saying Drew Ali's gonna get you. Really. <laughs> Drew Ali's gonna get you. <coughs> People playing games. The Moorish nation flag is the flag of her sons. It is red with a five point green star, Venus, which is mother. <laughs> so the headdress, both of them, both headdress represent women, right? The flag represents women. Right? All the principles are feminine. Right? What 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 more? What more do you need to realize what this is about? You need something more than that to realize what this is about? Why are we wasting our time? If Drew Ali said, then why are we wasting our time trying to wake up brothers and stuff like that if Drew Ali was only holding a mother? Why are we wasting our time uplifting some sons? What are we doing that for? We might as well just stop doing that and just focus on waking up women if Drew Ali said. The picture says a thousand words and all that stuff, right? So, so Drew Ali said on the 101 cover, uplift women. So why why you go into something and there's all these brothers there? Drew Ali didn't say that. He said uplift humanity. Humanity is feminine, eh? Stop the dumb stuff. You just want to be dumb. Don't listen to these people trying to let you be dumb with them. There's no Drew Ali said like that. Like that. That's that. That's that's dumb. That's Christian. Jesus said, the Bible said. That's, just, that's the same stuff that these people are doing. This is not a religious thing. This is birthrights. This is birthrights. We get you have a right to say dumb stuff. You have that right. I'm not mad at you for saying dumb stuff. You know what I mean? But when your dumbness gets corrected, you, you have to start going that way now. Why are you still going back to the dumb stuff after the corrections made? That, that's, called, that's called evolving. Why do you want to grow? Why do you want to remain stagnant? It's all about growth, especially spiritual growth more than anything else. Mental growth more than anything else. When she became unconscious, the flag of her sons was flown. It represents the great bloodshed ensured upon the land. Many divisions and tongues, false prophets and mass destruction and the likes. This bloodshed was not only in death of the human form of many, but it represented the flow or shedding of the blood to make up many other nations. The scepter, if you will, was passed to her sons while she lay unconscious. It is not to her son's fault, as it was she who caused the great destruction, and it would be she who repairs it. Her awakening, or will be, the great wrath of Allah. It is not to the son's fault, as it was she who caused the great destruction, and it will be she who repairs it? You ready? 
You ready for the wrath of Allah? The wrath of Allah is you becoming conscious again. Mother. Awakening from your sleep. Once mother awakes from her sleep, everything will be repaired. Everything would be repaired. What were the daughters of the American Revolution revolting against? Their establishment was based on the promotion of historic preservation, education, and patriotism. Aha, and there you have it. They are directly against the matriarch, which is the Republican form of government here in America. A republic is based in matriarchal principles, not patriarchal. Their revolution, quote-unquote, certainly was not inclusive of the Moorish, Moabite, Asiatic, African woman. And she still thinks there is a revolution to come, and rightfully so, as it is her revolution that must occur in order for humanity to live on in harmony. She must wake up and recognize that she is the mother of the daughters of the American Revolution, and that they are revolting against her sons, of which they, daughters, were in concubines for. The Moabite Moorish Asiatic African woman must recognize and begin using and teaching her daughters to use the science of the number nine, the science of the womb, to invoke the powers and purpose of her womb to bring in children of great, as that occurrence can only happen as it relates to her and her womb. Anything other than that will bring in something that is not connected to her or her cause, certainly not in a positive manner. The development of a fetus, Muslim, in the seven stages of development upon the waters of her womb, womb is then cut from the navel and becomes a navigating L upon the seven waters of the continent. The daughters of the American Revolution were well aware of the science of the womb, and they utilized it in their revolt against their history of being concubines for the more sons. Yes, that is their history, and that is what they revolted against, even though the sons treated them fairly, well, much better, much better than their own sons, as their own sons were placed in isolation and caves of Europe where the sons treated them their own sons and their sons were placed in isolation in the caves of Europe where they partook in homosexuality, bestiality and the likes. They practically had no choice. The more sons had the women. It is proven when you do studies that unveil the so-called white women being traversed down the Barbary coast behind so-called black men. Many saw that as a form of slavery or capture of European daughters. However, it was the course of events regarding their creation and placement. The intercourse with them brought about blended nationalities and had nothing to do with traveling down Bering Straits or the great diaspora that didn't happen that way. These Albion daughters of the American Revolution wanted to be free from their past history and free to create their own reality. They have come a very long way and are very proud of their accomplishments. They utilized the womb and created sons who were endowed with their directions and psyche. They imparted in them in the womb to come out as the demeanor and hate to destroy the more sons, their sons became the members of the Ku Klux Klan. There you have it in a nutshell. We must have, we need to have a different view when we see the daughters now wanting to be linked back to the more sons. It is in their DNA. It is also in the DNA of the albino sons to have a distaste and genuine fear of the more sons. In irony, as the mothers and fathers of civilization, we are their salvation. Dishonoring of one's mother and father includes them. They go the way they came, 
and others will be destroyed by the sun. Malachi chapter 4. All men do the bidding of women. It is a fact. It is their duty. And an honest man will admit that. Even if he doesn't, in all reality, he is affected by her from the time he is born and while in the womb being made. If he is arrogant, possessive, and insecure, she taught him to be that way. Much of these things were learned in the first schoolroom of the universe, the womb. Thus, he did not stand a chance to be otherwise. Submitting to the will of Allah is done in the womb during one's making. Allah is all law. Manifested in the flesh is arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Everyone is a Muslim. A Muslim is the fetus, muscles, bones, and tissues, or Muslim, same muscles and limbs. This is why they wear the fezes with Muslim, Islam, El Bay, and Morocco, amongst other ancient writings upon them. It is clear that they are modern man and we are ancient man. They are not and cannot ever be ancient man. They have no ancient history. The daughters of the American Revolution are the ones who created the citizenship manual for all those who come to the shores of America. It's deep. It's deep. Many wear the womb as a royal crown except for the Moorish woman and she is the mother of all civilizations. Clearly, she has been unconscious and it's time for her to awake so the great meeting can take place. For those sisters who are in the secret societies, the Eastern Stars ETC, the secret is about you. You are aware of Esther, Esther, Ishtar, Asarte, Venus, an indication and proof that the universal language is that of cosmology. This is why you are called an Eastern Star. Venus is the Eastern Star. To my sisters, you have not been previously aware. You may not be an Eastern Star member, and you need not be, yet you are a star from the East. Venus, the Cosmic Mother, which rules Libra, Ma'at, and preserves the balance of nature with her scales of justice and sword of truth and retribution. It is time to rise from the ignorance and see you for who you are and more importantly for your obligation and responsibility to humanity. If you do not plan, plant, to bring any more royal crowns here, please teach your daughters who are the direct descendants of the founders of civilizations. Teach them ancient high science culture, Gnosticism, cosmology, alchemy, geometry, algebra, numerology, astrology, architecture, mathematics, philosophies, and the science of the womb, as everyone else is drawing wealth and knowledge from it and wearing it, the symbol of the womb atop their heads as the royal cr crown, except for the mother of civilization herself, you, the Moabite, Moorish, Asiatic, African women, members of the Daughters of the American Revolution. This page was inspired by Sister Anuket. Why are they wearing your stuff and you can't wear it? They're wearing your stuff and you can't wear it? Are these patriarchs playing games with you? You can only wear a turban because no Ali said women wear turbans. No Ali also said study, study, study. Didn't he say study? And then when you studied and you realized that the fez represents the womb, are you supposed to evolve, grow? You're not supposed to be stagnant. You're not supposed to be stagnant, right? You're supposed to evolve. You're supposed to evolve. We hope that you want to evolve. I mean, 
the better one evolve. You better. Understood all the Moors. World wide. Honors to all the Moors. Peace and love to all. If you're near Houston, tomorrow it's going down at the French Quarter Cajun Seafood. It's going to be a good build, and good food. You already know how we do with the food. <laughs> You already know how we do it, the food. Supreme honors to all the Moors. Happy Holy Day. Happy Holy Day. Don't forget, Mordians too. Mordians too dropping soon. Peace and love to all the Moors. Honors to the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. And honors to all Moors worldwide. Islam. Like Taj said, you know what I mean? We're on an alternate timeline. Yeah, me. May I hijack the organic reality? Yeah, thanks. No, yeah, me. It's been a hundred and few years since Drew Ali appeared Now they wear umbrellas for turbans, weaves of hair They want to be a goddess of nature and hug a tree Recording themselves showing camel toes, look at me Always posing, got the air fired and dozing Dog clothes, new airs, wear second-hand clothing Carrying your food, making your children crawl Always on social media, children belly a ball Their nails always dirty, their hair uncombed Lazy and fat, toxicians, law unmoaned Five baby daddies, six baby mothers Nine years of suffering won't wake a brother You sleep too much, is what Drew Ali said Only fans in a fog with the baby on the bed Asking mom, why you doing this? Acting like a whore, pause the strip tease Kick him out and close the door Go back on camera, twerk and look at me Twirling on a pole with your daughter, that's a heat He feels like a girl cause no dad around Calling herself matriarch, wrap a sash around Money phone and pics, throwing cash around In front of your ass by Negroes getting slapped around, big shades to hide bruises on live she cruises, the heirs learn bad behavior, making excuses, take responsibility from parents, they learn rudeness, wise inherit honor, shame is claimed by foolish, mind manipulated, mother's excessive demands, heirs looking uncomfortable, twerking on the gram, lying ass parents say it's an African dance, making man prance under the hypnotic trance, mind overblown, they should be the throne, look at me Medusa, turn your dumb ass to a stone, look at me, Everybody, P and I G, that's lame. Look at me, everybody, tweet and I G, that's lame, y'all. Look at me, everybody, tweet and I G, that's lame. Look at me, everybody, tweet and I G, that's lame, y'all. Growing up on the tech side, digital sex side, keyboards collide, it's all job, hands bounce on keypad. Getting big, mad in real life, just bounce like white pads. Time pass, move fast, digital alien. Five, six, seven, cents, gotta buy for element. Magnetic radiant, matrix sucking your blood. Unplug, great again, go play in the mud. Five minutes of fame, pass out, feed a gram low. Criminal creation, thief the next man stole. I'm ex an almanac, that's an original one. Five maps, spread facts like a scientist does. I'm on the land, that's exactly where Lemuria was. Ask Trooper Jack Zap, how did Buzz? Show up, did he come out of lamp on a flying rug from Atlantis? Mike Master with a saber that cuts. Look at me, everybody, T and I G, that's lame. Look at me, everybody, T and I G, that's lame, y'all. Look at me, everybody, T and I G, that's lame. Look at me, everybody, T and I G, that's lame, y'all.
angel, glowing from my mental. Some slide with a coward glide out the temple. Arrogant, egotistical, pseudo mystical. Silence from lips telepathic and graphic. I'm communicating with identified ships, objects flying in zigzag and symmetric patterns. My pyramid core looks like a cavern, spiritual war reflecting off the raging cauldron water bubbles. No burning wood smell, no heat but cough doubles. No smoke watching broken puddles. Glass flowing, grass growing, foaming smoking nozzles to minds. My words are fossils, colossal. Dirty moors appearing as thousand apostles. Glowing lower chakras, fireflies and bottles. Won't give enough light and minds to get me out the darkness. Spirits around me, soul and heartless. All five senses, shock watching a walking carcass. Wires poking out from foreheads, blink to answer iPhones. Mouth tubes going through nose to lungs to smoke hydro. I travel so far, chasing a star, dodging comets, zooming past quasars. One time I travel so far, chasing a star, dodging comets, zooming past quasars. One time I travel so far, chasing a star, zooming past comets, dodging quasars. One time I travel so far, chasing a star, zooming past comets, dodging quasars. MC sarcophagus open from slaves to cyborg psychos. Hatching through the door as rage leaks from pores. Black hole, not vinyl. Watching it spiral. Disciple of the archetypal hip hop revival. I impulses versus suicidal impulses. Bonafide genocide. I'm crucifying vultures. Not absorbing into cultures. Burst out like Gamma Bay. I'm like Alhambra days. My veil is sunglasses. I'm not rapper shades. I'm seeing aliens with locks and turbans, not grays. Floating off the platform. Greeting me with Islam gestures Blue flame quarks grew around scepters Using a portal as an entrance Galactic world pendants With some solar flare Double healers necklace Couldn't believe what I'm seeing I gotta get this One time I travel so far Chasing a star Dodging comets Zooming past quasars One time I travel so far Chasing a star Dodging comets Zooming past quasars One time I travel so far Chasing a star Zooming past Past comets dodging quasars. One time I travel so far, chasing a star. Swimming past comets dodging quasars. My MC sarcophagus open, sitting at the table on ascendant masters, not descendant pastors. Telling me about silent brotherhood mysteries and Drew Ali I'm conquering the six degrees, becoming the logos to reteach his stories to get us off the mental slave trees. Telling me to study the works, not slander from jerks. Conspiring with de facto jurisdictions. The perks taking the jaw paperwork to the corporate clerks. Be mindful of dirty moors, throwing dirt on your worth. At that time, up stood one of the turban sages, created a timeline in space to show the ages of all the galaxies, universal places of existence. Explained from a distance, inner, under, and overwhelmed realms of persistence. Indoor, bright with the sun's light, moon, wax and wane in my brain, energy, gunfights. Indoor, bright with sun's light, moons, wax and waves in my brain, energy, gunfights. One time I travel so far, chasing a star, dodging comets, zooming past quasars. One time I travel so far, chasing a star, dodging comets, zooming past quasars. One time I travel so far, chasing a star, zooming past comets, dodging quasars. One time I travel so far, chasing a star, zooming past comets, dodging quasars. Focus on breath when mind or heart moves faster Focus on higher when lower self is set tripping And we'll make up the bed or clean the kitchen When little voice speaks in our ears hope and listen Change the world, merge action with vision Learn through symbolism, numeric metaphysicians Extraordinarily moving with synchronism Repetition, rendition, cognition One with a lie from belief to fruition Thought ammunition I self-law and or am master. Focus.
focus on breath when mind or heart moves faster. Focus on higher when lower self is set tripping. And we'll make up the bed or clean the kitchen. When little voice speaks in our ears, open, listen. Change the world, merge action with vision. Learn through symbolism, numeric metaphysicians, extraordinarily moving with synchronism. Repetition, rendition, cognition. One with a lie from belief to fruition. Thought ammunition, mental inquisition, circumstances will do their best once in position. Bliss you instead of bless when a Christian sneezes. Immune system of facts, mass for diseases to the source. We all return, that should be celebrated from the body plantation. So release, not regulated. We all fall victim, we're all called Christian. But Islam is our faith, restore all faith. We all fall victim, we're all called Christian. But Islam is our faith, restore all faith. We all fall victim, we all call Christian, but Islam is our faith, restore our faith. We all fall victim, we all call Christian, but Islam is our faith, restore our faith. Uh, render unto Caesar, I don't need a constant, I mean a constant reminder. Sounded like my Sunday school teacher, I learned to discern the divine order. If I don't move my foot, you can't step over. Uh, now you see why your ocean was murdered. Secret orders in the chamber, Asiatic pictures. Seven eaters or seven esters Fellow children or a child curse of scriptures Sixty-nine, an infinite number Put it together, you will discover Finite thoughts that limits each other There's no boundaries Ja, ya, Allah is same energy Different prophets with different remedies Five principles, same frequencies Echo through the halls of manipri Don't be mad at me Islam to the world Philosophies and principles You emotional, over personals Divine and national so let my vine and fig grow Pass the Negro Pass the Negro And how to be more corrupt Unless you get that sensation And feelings start to erupt From the most highest inspiration And your heart gets touched With causes daily meditation But still to learn there's much But some get suicidal Cause their hopes get crushed What do 
by manifesting the test, the rest is history. I got visions that it will happen, no longer a mystery. Can I live? It's like opposition trying to nitpick life. Gets rough, I need a quick flip. That note surround me like a yoke in the throat. I ain't lending and saving. I dish out and get nothing to the grave. They sold sin to color me like this money. Rights inalienable. They want to take it from me, so my visibility gets scarce. Some drunk them all chilling with the lions, tigers, and the bears. No SOS flare, cause it's me and the world. I ain't against it. My mind print press it, no guess shit. Telepathic senses, my son gets it. Who can mess with rain in the soil? This muddy beckon to carry on seeds when the world's threatened. I can imagine being in two places, same time, with a frame of mind to be able to save the seeds, pour the ride to the other side, live divine. Leave this crazy past behind. Things are rougher than rough, tougher than tough. They get to use them belly full, but they say it's not enough. Forty percent of the population locked up in handcuffs. They claim it's rehabilitation, but I'm calling it bluff. Cause what you learn is infiltration and how to be more corrupt. Unless you get that sensation and feelings start to erupt from the most high's inspiration, and your heart gets touched with causes daily meditation, but still to learn there's much. But some get suicidal cause they're Hopes get crushed for daily tactics of survival. It's the scriptures I clutch, and it gives us so revival. Cause mother, father, we trust. We finally made our revival. Still we're furious, but staying patient and calm. Cause we know we soon bust. Keeping the faith and stay strong. We maintain our focus. I really clicked it. I cannot believe it. With all three countries? Mexico, the United States, and Canada look forward to building on this progress at the 11th NAL to be hosted by Canada. This will probably be one of the most important videos I've ever put out. Did you know that the United States of America, as you know it, no longer exists? And I don't mean this theoretically. I mean this as in on January 10th, 2023, while no one was paying attention, Joe Biden signed away our sovereignty as a nation when he met with President of Mexico, Manuel Lopez Obrador, and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in Mexico City to sign the Declaration of North America. You can find the release on the White House website, wh.gov, which ironically, right now, has a photo on the front page of these three individuals I just mentioned. I'm sure once this goes out to the masses, they will reconsider being so obvious and bragging about what they've done. They've completed what their plan has always been, the North American Union, a declaration separate and outside of the Constitution. So you, I'm like, Smithsonian, 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 2012, right? And their plan is and all this stuff. Smithsonian Magazine. Mexico is technically the United Mexican States and isn't too happy about it. Mexico is sick of having to correct people on its name all the time. Seal of the United Mexican States. On October 4th, 1824, Mexico ratified its first ever constitution as an independent country. A document known as the Federal Constitution of the United Mexican States. Ever since that day, the country's official name has not been Mexico, but rather the United Mexican States. Like North or South Korea, the Democratic People's Republic of the Korean, or the Republic of Korea, respectively, Mexico 
also never goes by its full and proper name. The reality is, the official name is used only by Mexican officials who deal with diplomatic protocol and official documents pertaining to international relations. For the rest of Mexicans and the world, the country is simply known as Mexico. You realize what the Mexicans did in 1800s? And then Noble Drew Ali came and did the same thing for Moors in the 1900s? You, you didn't get what they did? You didn't get that they have a straw man? Mexico's a straw man. Mexico is the thing that they're going to push in the corporate arena. While in the background, they're going to be the United Mexican States, free nationals of their republic that they got constitution. You know, Mexicans, unified. Matter of fact, speaking about Mexicans, when you're near Texas on the weekend, all I saw was Asiatics. I didn't see Mexicans like that. Now the Asiatics I see is Spanish-speaking Asiatics and stuff like that. See the sign, Casa de, what was it again? Punta Cana. Punta Cana. Oh. It's probably South American spot. Go there, that with me like a brother. Give me a drink, everything. Just because. You know, we're, we're, we're family. You know, separation. So the Mexican officials, right? The reality is the official name is used only by the Mexican officials who deal with diplomatic protocol and official documents pertaining to international relations. That's the only time their free national names getting used. And then our people, they want to be straw men. They want to be black, negro, colored, or whatever, instead of being the free nationals. Apparently, sick of living a double life, the Mexican, United Mexican Statesian President, Filippo Calderon, sent to the Mexican Congress a piece of legislation to change the country's name officially to simply Mexico. Right? Now what do more say? Noble Drew Ali officially changed the name from Moorish Holy Temple of Science, Moor Science Temple of America in Fowlery Cook County, and then as a, and then they start talking as if as if that means something. That's a corpse. Mexico, that's a corpse. Moorish Nation, the Free Nationals, United Mexican States, the Free Nationals. You still think Moors don't know what we're talking about? How come you don't know that only the officials know that United Mexican States is what that place is? And call it by that. And everybody else is playing a fiction game. Right? So to show that they have the sovereignty as United Mexican States, they have a corpse that if anybody other than free nationals are dealing with them, you're dealing with the corpse. Corpse is Mexico. And then when you 
go go tally go ask all these people just go ask them no one is going to tell you united mexican states everybody's going to tell you mexico just go ask them just go ask some people pick 10 people call them up yeah i want to ask you a question North America is Canada, United States, and, and what's that place under the United States to call here? Mexico! Eh, wrong answer. Oh yeah, you're not a Mexican official. So you can't use the free national name. And then the brilliance of Drew Ali is that even that's the straw. Because he's Sheikh Sharif Abdul Ali. And only the officials are going to be using that name when they're talking about the free national that has a straw. That Look at all the BS that, they, that these people are talking about over Drew Ali. You really think they're talking about somebody? <laughs> you really think that's him? Or oh, you think the picture is, is, is Noble Drew Ali? Or no, no, that's Sheikh Sharif Abdul Ali. Noble Drew Ali is a straw. That's just name. Name only. Name only. The man, the being that came out of his mom, the Sheikh Sharif Abdul Ali. More science temples are corpse. Created. So we could have a corporate whatever to deal with the corporate people. The stuff that's, that, that's rolling downhill right now that Drew Ali saw coming. And then people start thinking this is some religious thing. And then you have only 10 more using, using the stuff how they're supposed to be using it. When everybody's supposed to be exercising this. You know, 20 more. You know, 20 more exercising something. When it's supposed to be everybody exercising it because it's just that simple. It's not some advanced stuff. But I think we're going to show you some other people who's doing the same stuff that Drew Ali did. Exact same thing. It's gonna have a constitution, have a flag, have a seal, have people, have us have certain customs that you're gonna do, and you know what I mean? Go be yourself. No, they don't want that. They want to debate more. I cannot believe Oh yeah, oh yeah. And before we play that again, don't forget this part that we've been telling you. Now don't forget this part that we've been telling you. Article 11, or the Articles of Confederation, stated that Canada could join to the new nation if it wanted to. And they want to be a corpse of, of the British or whatever. So they didn't want to. Now, in order for them to embed themselves, they're going to tell you the Declaration of North America, which is DNA. That's GMO DNA. That's not the organic people. Those are corpses. Those are private corporations merging because obviously the stuff fell or they wouldn't be merging. Obviously they're done for. Why are they done for? Because more are standing up for the rights. Because more's 
I'm saying we don't want to be Negro black colored. Go look up more in the Black Slot Dictionary. It'll tell you about 100 bailiffs and all that. One more. So don't, don't, don't get it fooled or whatever. We say only 20 more are doing something. That means that, you know, that, that's fewer or something like that. No. One more is a thousand bailiffs. And then a more who really knows himself, or whatever, he's about, he's about 10,000 bailiffs. One more. So don't get it messed up. Thinking that, talking about, talking from some negative perspective or something like that. So all of their stuff fell. Right? All the corpses fell. All the corpses failed. And because the corpse failed, the sovereignty goes right back to the people. Well, Canada and the United States, those, those don't have people under them. Those people are modern Europeans. They're not the United States and, and Canada. That's not, that's not what they are. There's no people under that. That's, that's, not, that's not a nation. Those aren't nations. Those are corporations that were created by colonial powers in order to have jurisdiction where they don't have jurisdiction. But the only way they could do that if, if your dumbass wants to be a corpse too. But because Moors are standing up for rights, which means that we're not a corpse, no, they're in trouble. Because more CC'd all these other nations in the world, letting them know what's going on. And then when we CC them, we're realizing that you already, you, you created a corpse too. So all you people going to World Cup and all that stuff, all you people are, are, are corpse. All these teams or whatever like that, the, the city of the whatever. And there's a team for there. That is the exact same thing. They're not citizens. These people are just fans. Fans rallying behind a team. That's not a country. But where they don't play their self is because our people want to be Negro, Black, Colored, which is a corpse. So if we're going to be a corpse and we're the sovereigns here, then of course they Why wouldn't they create a new corpse? Isn't that what they do anyways? It's just in business. Guy's business is going to go down. Other guy over there has 20 million. Well, hey, why don't we just merge these two things or whatever like that? Then we can make 40 million and then I'll take my 20 back and then you get 20. Merger. They merged. So now that it's proven to you, now let's see if you're going to declare your nationality or not, or you're going to still play, play in these corpse games. Because now that's a super corpse now. You know they made a super team? People get beat and then join the team that, that beat them and all that. Right? Where you at now? Because all the corpses are dead. That's why they merged. And then people are surprised or something, as if more as I haven't been telling you people that this is what's going on. But nah, you don't hear what Moors are saying. No problem. Do your thing. Do your thing. Just don't come crying to Moors, because we've been told you what's up. You've been supposed to add your silver. You've been supposed to take your finance out the bank and all that stuff and just roll that up, put it in something. Been getting your silver. If, if these guys, if these guys, right, for example, right, the Jamaica corpse. They're in debt, right? So what they do? They go rob their boy for 12 million. 
Right? Because he's a Jamaican national and all that stuff, right? He's the fastest man that ever lived and all that stuff. And you, you they're jacking your finance? If they're going to jack his finance, what do you think they're going to... They've been gone with your little two grand that you got in the, in the thing. Remember, this is all corporate activity. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind, this is all corporate activity. Right. Just keep that in mind. This is what happens in the corporate realm. You think the Mars, I'm not Islamic. You think Islam has something to do with them going in there and taking your finance? And leave you with nothing? And then you're going to them like, hey, you accidentally took the finance. Oh, yeah, in five days we'll get back to you. And day five of it. Yeah, yeah, we had to up it up to the other department. And then here's their number. Give them a call and all that stuff. And then you're going to call them. You can't find anything and all that. You don't know exactly what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And they're only doing it because we let them. Right. That's where they're going with it. So uh, it said uh, the the one thing that we need to look at too is he was a student of mysticism. Okay, so I went out and what what mystif mysticism is, um, and this plays a huge part in just how delusional these people are. Um, as you can see, I went and found it. This is from the Oxford Dictionary. And it's belief that union with or absorption into a deity or the absolute or the spiritual apprehension of knowledge inaccessible to the intellect may be uh, attained through uh, contemplation and self-surrender. Okay, belief characterized by self-delusion or dreamy confusion of thought especially when based on the assumption of occult qualities or mysterious agencies. That is this Moorish group in a nutshell. They all have this. They all suffer from a delusion that was created by Timothy Drew. Um, right. Let's just double check. Let's just double check. They went to Oxford. We're going to go online etymology dictionary. You go to online etymology dictionary. The etymology is where you, you want to know the origin of words. You know, I just look it up in any dictionary. You're going to check the etymology of the word, not just what the word means. Right? For big dummies out there, let's school you on the difference between abridged dictionaries and unabridged dictionaries. An abridged dictionary is what he just wrote, 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 read to you. That's abridged. And then look up abridged to see what abridged means. And then this would be the unabridged definition of mysticism. And then you pick which one you think is the actual meaning of mysticism? Mysticism. Any mode of thought or life in which reliance is placed upon a spiritual illumination believed to transcend ordinary powers of understanding. 1736. From mystic. Adjective. Plus ism. Often, especially in a religious sense, and since the Enlightenment, a term of reproach implying self-delusion or dreamy confusion of thought. So it says, go to mystic. Because mysticism is late. The boat left the dock on mysticism. 
That's not the original word. So let's go to mystic. Mystic, adjective. Late 14th century, spiritually, allegorical, pertaining to mysteries of faith. From Old French, mystique, mysterious, full of mystery. Or directly from Latin, mysticus, mystical, mystic, of secret rites. Source also of Italian, mystical, and Spanish, mystical. From Greek, mysticos, secret, mystic, connected with the mysteries. From mystis, one who has been initiated. Meaning, pertaining to occult practices of ancient religions is recorded by 1610, that of hidden from or obscure to human knowledge or comprehension is by the 1630s. Mystic, noun, exponent of mystical theology, one who accepts or preaches some form of mysticism, 1670s, from mystic, Adjective in Middle English, the noun meant symbolic meaning interpretation. Where, where they find delusion? Where they find delusion at? Oh, that that is to get you to think that as soon as you hear mystic, you're looking at that as are oh, they? They're delusional. That's not no. They're only delusional for the dumbasses who can't comprehend. That's the only issue. Is that you're constantly, you're constantly going to get it from people. Those are the people who are delusional. But we just read you the etymology of it to show you that it does not mean delusional. It does not mean that. It does not mean that. And again, which is why Nobujuali created the corpse and used the corpse name so these people can't even touch his free national when they're doing their madness. They're going to be always dealing with the straw. But straw, straw has a reputation. The straw is not, not, you know, a corporation and all that stuff. You know, don't start thinking some negative. Oh, because the corporation, that means it's bad. You know, there's, you're, you're missing it. Straw man's not bad. It's what they do with it that's the problem. Right? Because when we go further into the delusion of mysticism, right? Let's go further into the delusion of mysticism. This is um, mores.livejournal.com. Mysticism. There is at the core of every faith the inner wisdom, often referred to as mysticism. In truth, Morris science embodies the mystic tradition and can best be related to any religion by comparing it to the favorable light of its mystic core. This is the key discovered by the founders of the noble order and the concept followed in the Moorish New Current. In Islam, the mystic path is referred to as the Sufi path, and beyond all forms and rituals, Moorish science can be best identified with the Sufi tradition of Islam. That is why, in its second and third epochs, the name of the noble order was changed to the noble order of the mystic Sufis, and the Sufi symbol of the winged heart was adopted and by permission given to Sharif Bey from Per Musharraf Khan and to Hakim Bey 
by Per Wiliat Iniat Khan. These masters were of the Sufi order of the West, which aligns itself by its teachings with more science, even more than the traditional Islamic Sufi orders. With a due understanding and appreciation of mysticism, and with initiation and guidance, a Moorish American could certainly participate in the practices of any mystical community, especially a Sufi order. As in all such matters, it is wise to receive guidance from the noble order. You hear anything about delusion in there? Or is mysticism somewhere where you should probably be at? And stop listening to people with their BS. But it's good. It's, a, it, it, it's, a, it's for learning. It's for learning. Remember, every time you hear Arabs, every time you hear Arabs, in your mind, say Moors. Don't say Arabs. When you say Berbers, don't say Berbers. Say Moors in your mind. Any of these names that they start calling Asiatics across the Atlantic Ocean? Just say Moors. Do yourself a favor so you can figure some of this stuff out that you're reading with these people. That they already know what's up. They're not hiding. They're letting you know. Gary Edson. Mysticism and Alchemy Through the Ages. The history of alchemy in Latin Europe is similar to other mystic attitudes in Western culture. There were obvious historical connections with Greece and Egypt, but the stronger influence came from the Moors in Spain. The European scholars gained a better understanding of the Moorish civilization, thereby learning that the libraries of the rulers and nobles were often numbered in 400,000 volumes. They learned that the Moors possessed books that had been translated from Greek, and subsequently, they sought to translate many of these works into Moorish Latin to make them available to Latin-speaking scholars. Although Kabbalists, Jewish mystics, Rosicrucians, the secret brotherhood of the Rosy Cross, and astrologers were instrumental in spreading alchemy through the Western world during the medieval and Renaissance times. Much of its early development can be traced to a few individuals who invested time and energy in translating important books from Moorish and Greek into Latin. The Making of a Mystic, Francis L. Gross. The Teresa of Avila of history is just as much a conversal Jew as she is the daughter of an old Christian mother. There remains only the third Spanish caste, the Moorish. It is a rich area in implication, but sparse in hard data. The Moors spent a thousand years in Spain before finally being pushed out. If the old Spaniards dealt with the Jewish elements, in their midst of psychological warfare, they dealt with the Moors on the battlefield. What was the Moorish bequest to Teresa of Avila? There are tantalizing hints. For example, Moorish mystics, the Sufis, were practical people like Teresa. The Making of a Mystic, Francis L. Gross.
Mystic chords, mysticism and music. Manish Sony. Mysticism is the effort to transcend these limitations by expanding the mind and opening it up to receive the vast portion of the universe that is hidden from us because of the inadequacy of our sensory apparatus and because of the filtering process of the mind. It, it is the desire to unleash the vast reserves of primal psychic energy latent within every human being and thus to open up the inner eye of direct perception and with this awakened eye to behold the blazing light of divine radiance whose nature is perfect bliss. According to the sayings of those who have attained such revelation, the true nature of the universe is unity, is oneness. This unity is all-pervading and constitutes the innermost reality of all forms, all life, all thought. True wisdom, that's presumed and folly, then lies in knowing that we are all part of this transcendent unity and that our true essence is identical with the essence of the universe which is uncreated, eternal, and formless, and which radiates through all of creation. All the multifarious forms, appearances, and processes which we perceive with our senses are in reality just different manifestations of this singular, omnipresent spirit. The traditional view of the self as being wholly contained within the body and of the skin as being the definitive boundary between self and the world must be repudiated entirely, believing that the body is a detached frame which houses a discrete soul is much the same way as the hard shell of an oyster enclosing a shiny pearl is the great delusion of humanity, and it is the prime contributor to all pain, anxiety, and suffering. The Yardbirds said much the same thing in the lyrics below. Shapes of the things before my eyes, just teach me to despise. Will time make man more wise? Here within my lonely frame, my eyes just hurt my brain. But will it seem the same? The world and the body, senses and objects of sense, are to be seen as simply complementary extensions of one another, with no permanent border between them. Everything is interconnected and intertwined, such that the universe is one indissoluble entity. And an integrated and harmonious whole. Now, you on with what these people are telling you about mysticism? Or are you going to go with Manish Sony? If you're going to go with Manish Sony, then you're onto something. You're going to listen to the dingbats? You're, you're, you're already in trouble. You're getting the wrath of Allah already. Mysticism versus religion. There is a marked difference between the character of mysticism and that of Western forms of religion where those religions are founded upon belief in a more or less anthropomorph, anthropomorphic God who is essentially a type of benevolent father figure and who takes a direct interest 
an active involvement in the well-being of those who abide by him and please him with their moral rectitude, the so-called interventionist God. This type of religion is primary one of worship, where God is conceived as a paternal being or power separate from the worshiper, the heavenly father who must be placated with prayers, devotion, and righteous moral conduct. The best that can be hoped for is a positive relationship with this omnipotent God, and the believer is sustained by the prospect of a blissful afterlife in paradise or heaven as a reward for good deeds and thoughts in the present life. Sigmund Freud has ascribed the origin of this religious outlook to the de-idealization in early childhood of the father as an all-powerful protector. Mysticism, on the other hand, regards God and all deities as, as deeply embedded constituents of the individual's own psyche that have been projected outward into the external world, but which are fundamentally contained within the person himself or herself and are not separate from him or her. It does not defer salvation to the afterlife, but aimed for it in this lifetime, here on earth, by union with the omnipresent one, the supreme soul. Its highest goal is identity with God, not worship of, of him. Its highest goal is identity with God, not worship of him. Not, not worship of him. Not worship. Keep in mind, remember this is all, you know, people gave you some BS about what mysticism was. Its ultimate aim is best described in the words of Mandaka Upanishad. In truth, who knows God becomes God. Thus, the dichotomy between the two outlooks in, is that between identity and worship, between communion and placation, the lines below sung by Bob Marley, illustrate this difference beautifully. Most people think great God will come from the sky, take away everything, and make everybody feel high. But if you know what life is worth, you will look for yours on earth. No ambiguity here as to which worldview Marley subscribed to. He was, after all, in the title of one of his own songs, a natural mystic. Thus, the religious point of view places faith in the grace and mercy of God, the holy other who dispenses redemption and salvation from on high. The classical Eastern traditions, in contrast, believe that man alone can bring about his highest development and they emphasize self-redemption through experiencing God in every fiber of one's being. Don't be listening to these dingbats. Don't. Africa and the Americas, Culture and Politics, Volume 1. First organized in Newark, New Jersey in 1913, then revived in Chicago, Illinois in 1919, Noble Drew Ali's Moore Science Temple maintained an uncertain continuity with the vestigial religious traditions handed down from the slave generations. 
In his amalgamation of Islam, Christianity, and Oriental mysticism and Gnosis, Noble Juali drew upon the folk belief of slavery, where Old and New Testament prophets could be fused into a singular and powerful symbol of resistance to oppression. The text of the identity cards dis distributed to the Moors reveals a conscious attempt at syncretism. In addition to their identity, identity cards, members of the Moor Science Temple suffix, suffixed titles to their names, El or Bey. They wore red fezes and beards and practiced abstinence from the unclean foods, cosmetics, and theatrical licentious entertainment. House Richard Wang Africa and the Americas Culture, Politics and History Hear him talking about some delusion or something with Nobu Juali? He didn't know what he was talking about. Everybody knows he knows what he was talking about. Everyone knows. The, the big question is how come our people don't know if everybody else knows? Everybody else knows that they're nationals. They don't call themselves anything other than nationals. What's wrong with these people? Misclassified as Negro black colored. Is, is sorcery been done on them? Are they just dumb? What, what, what is the issue? Because all of us at one time were dumb nigger. So either these people are dumb and this is really only for a few. Then you check the records, Juali said, you know, a few faithful Moors. So, if you had faithful Moors in the 1920s, there's probably a faithful Moors now, based on, you look around and see what Moors are dealing with right now. Right? You'll see. Some of these Moors are on some BS. There's really only few faithful Moors. And, and the few faithful Moors better figure this stuff out. Because we were given everything it takes to save a nation. And people held back stuff, murdered people, did all types of madness for our people to be lost, for our people to be out the loop. So we're, on, we're not out the loop anymore. Some of us know what's up. Honors to all the Moors who study. Honors to the Prophet. Noble Juali. Peace and love to all Moors worldwide. Honors to all Moors. Study, study, study. That's the key. We give honors to all the Moors in the chat. All the Moors worldwide know the truth about their nationality and birthrights. Honors to you. Honors to all the mothers. And honors to Noble Drew Ali, the Prophet. Peace and love to all the Moors. Islam.